Hello and welcome to Simply Listed. This is a fully automated mock-up program where all you have to do is bring your favorite mock-ups over to Simply Listed, make one template, and then it will pull all of your designs over from Printify and publish them to Etsy for you, making the process super fast and easy. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to make ornament mock-ups. I'm going to show you a couple different ways. The first way is like this one here on the right where there's no background on your design. And so it's a little bit easier to set up this template. And then we have the one here on the left where as you can see there's a marble background. And so I will show you how we set this one up as well. And these are how they turned out. And I think they turned out amazing. So let's go ahead and get right started. First, we want to buy our mock-ups if you don't already have mock-ups for your ornaments. So I just went over to Etsy and I typed in ceramic ornament because that's what we're doing today. And you want to find a good quality mock-up, making sure that it looks the same as on Printify. Printify comes with that gold string like this. So you just want to make sure that the ornament matches the description that it has on Printify. You can buy two different mock-ups. You can either buy just the regular PNG, just like this one, or you can buy a smart mock-up like this one, where it has the little placeholder for you with the clouds. Either one is fine, and I will show you how to do both of those right now. So now that we have our mock-ups, I brought them into Canva, all into one slide like this. You want to make sure that your canvas size is 2700 by 2700. That'll just make it easier when you're uploading them to Etsy because that's the size that it has on Etsy. And so you don't have to zoom in and it'll be perfect just like this. So you want to make sure that your mock-up is zoomed in just like this one, how you'd want it to be uploaded to Etsy. All right, so if you have just the one that doesn't have the placeholder, the regular mock-up, you're going to have to make the ornament a transparent background. So what you'll have to do is go over to Photo P and you will upload that image. You're going to open from computer, bring the ornament over, and then you're going to use the magic eraser tool and just click on the white part of the ornament and that will remove the background just from where the design will go. You're going to save this as a PNG file and click save. Then you're going to bring that PNG file over to a new Canva template. You're going to do that with all of your ornaments. Make sure you remove the background from the ornament. I have an example here of a smart mock-up, so sometimes it'll come with the placeholder like this. All you need to do is click on the first layer, move it over, and then go ahead and delete that placeholder. So now the ornament is transparent. All right, now that we have our mock-ups ready in our Canva template, we're going to go ahead and set up our Printify template. So I went ahead and created our template on Printify. We're doing the ceramic ornament where it offers the four different shapes. So one thing that you need to remember when you are uploading your design to these ornaments is you want your canvas size to be the same size. So for the heart shape here, the print size area is 978 by 972. So when I come over here, I made sure to make the Canva template that same size. You also want to make sure that you download the template for the shapes so that you can make sure your design fits perfectly within the borders. So you can find that also right here on download design template. And you would basically just do that for whatever shapes you want to include in your listing. So you would make a different design template in Canva for the circle and for the heart, and then you would save that. Once you've made your design and it fits perfectly within the borders, you would go ahead and delete that template, and then you would save it as a P transparent PNG file. 
Then when you're in your Printify template, you want to make a specific design for whatever shape you're doing. So I already clicked this here. It says make a specific design. See right there. And see now this doesn't fit. It was made for the circle. So you would delete that and then you would upload the one that we just downloaded that is meant for the heart. And see how that fits perfectly. And it's normal for the box to go outside of the ornament. This was made from the Printify template, so you're good. Once you've uploaded your designs and they fit the templates perfectly, you can go ahead and save your product and you can either sit, publish it to Etsy or you would save it as a draft. All right, now that we have everything set up, we can go ahead and get started on our Simply Listed template. You want to start by clicking on Listing Template and click on New Template. We're going to choose Printify and then we're going to type in our product, Ceramic Ornament. And then we should see our product pop up. The one that we did was the four ceramic ornaments, the different sizes by a generic brand. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And our print provider is Imagine Your Photos. When you choose your size, it'll only have one size. And then you can go ahead and upload your files. We're going to go ahead and download the first template that we made in Canva. This is the one where it's just the regular JPEG file. So you're just going to share, download as a JPEG, and you want to do all pages, and go ahead and download. All right, so we'll just click Choose Files, and then you'll go ahead and upload all of those slides that are a JPEG file. Click Save. And then now it'll bring all of your mock-ups into your listing template. You're going to go ahead and title your design. This is just for your purposes only. So ceramic ornament. And we'll go ahead and start by adding the print area. So you'll click on your image and click print area. Now it'll come up with the different shapes. We'll do the circle. And then when you're bringing the print area over the ornament, you want to make sure it fully covers it. And it's about the same size as the green square that you see in Printify. You want to lower your transparency. I like to do mine between 85 and 90, whatever makes sense for you. And you want to make sure that it covers the whole ornament with a little bit of room on the sides, just like it shows in Printify. Now you would go ahead and do this for all of your ornaments. Same with the heart. You just want to make sure that it covers the full ornament and then we'll go ahead and save. So now we want to test our mock-up and you're just going to click here, test, and this should pull up your Printify product. If you don't see your product here, it could be because you didn't publish it. If you saved it as a draft, you just want to click right here and manually sync and it should pop right up. If you also don't see your product, it could be that the product you have on Printify doesn't match the same product that you created your template for or you may have clicked the wrong print provider. So you just want to go back in Printify and make sure that it all matches up. But ours is right here and this first example is for a ornament that doesn't have a background, just like this one here. So we'll go ahead and test it. And it'll pull up all your mock-ups and you can go through the slides and see if it looks great, which this one looks amazing. All right, so that's how you would do a template if you are doing an ornament that does not have a background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do one that has a background. So I went and created a ornament with the marble background. I just typed in marble background and you can actually have it take up the whole square. That's totally fine. You just want to make sure that the design part is within the borders so it doesn't get cut off when it's being printed. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and create a template for the one with the background. You will go ahead and add your print area just like we did for the one without the background, but now we're gonna need to add another layer so it only gets printed on the ornament. So that's when we come back over to the template we made in Canva that has the ornaments with the see-through background just on the ornament where we went into Photo P and we erased this. So all of these should have a hollow see-through ornament and you want to go ahead and download that as a PNG file with a transparent background. And I'm going to not include the photo cards because we just need the ornaments. And then you'll go ahead and download. All right, now we just need to add that layer over this one. You're just going to click on the image somewhere. And this should pop up where it says image. And then you're just going to add that PNG file right over top the other one and add to center. And what this will do is cover up the design that we don't want showing so that it looks like it's just printed on the ornament. And there we go. So this looks really great. And you would do the same thing for all of these. I'll go ahead and show you the heart. I already did the same thing. Um, I just downloaded the PNG file and put it right on top of the JPEG file. So like I said, you just want to do this for all of your slides and then click save. We're going to want to test this template as well. So same process, click test, and we're going to do the one with the marble background. And we'll go ahead and test it. And this is how it should turn out. It's a little hard to see, but as you can tell, you still have your marble background and all the mock-ups look great. So. Now that we've tested our mockups, we can go ahead and publish them to Etsy. Next, all we have to do is attach the artwork to our templates. So you can either click on the template or click attach artwork. Then you're going to choose your product. And this one was the template that we made for the ornament that does not have a background. We'll click on it and then create mockup. So once you have attached your artwork, it'll show up in the approval queue. And we did one for each of the design templates. We did the one with the background and the one without the background. You can look through it one more time to make sure that you're happy with how it turned out. And I think it looks wonderful. Another thing that Simply Listed does is it creates a video mockup for you. So it pulls all of your mockups from your template and creates a video that'll be published over to Etsy with all of your mockups, making the mockup process super simple. All right, and then all you would do is just click publish. Now, if you made multiple mockups like we did here, you can just click on the little box and then you can publish them all together by pushing publish. Well, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you learned so much. And if you have any questions at all, go ahead and ask us in the comments. And if you have not signed up already for the seven day free trial, it'll be down in the description. All right, have a great day, everyone.